A 37-year-old man comes to the emergency department due to fever, chills, and malaise. He has no significant medical history, but he uses illicit intravenous drugs on a regular basis. The patient is febrile, tachycardic, and hypotensive. Auscultation reveals a heart murmur. A preliminary diagnosis of infective endocarditis is established. Blood cultures grow methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, and the patient is prescribed an intravenous antibiotic administered. The question is calculation of the maintenance dose will most likely require which of the following parameters. If you are one of the smartest people on earth, type the correct choice in the comment box below. A. Drug clearance rate. B. Number of doses needed to reach steady state. C. Size of the loading dose. D. Total body weight of the patient. E. Volume of distribution of the drug. I am guessing you did not get the answer right. The correct choice is A. Most drugs are administered in the form of repetitive intermittent doses designed to achieve a steady state plasma concentration within a targeted therapeutic range. The amount of each dose is calculated so that the administered dose is just enough to replace the amount of drug eliminated by the body since the last dose. This replacement dose or maintenance dose depends on both of the following, steady state plasma concentration or seeds, and drug clearance or CL or volume of plasma cleared of drug per unit time such as milliliter per minute. Multiplying these two parameters gives the elimination rate or the amount of drug eliminated from the body per unit of time. Elimination rate equals to CSS times CL. The maintenance dose can then be calculated for the appropriate dosing interval like 12HR in this case by multiplying the elimination rate CSS -esc CL by the time between doses. Maintenance dose equals to CSX CLX dosing interval. Now, let's see why you were wrong. Choice B cannot be the answer because when a drug is administered more quickly than it can be eliminated from the body, it accumulates until a steady state level is reached. As plasma concentration increases, the amount of drug eliminated also increases until the amount administered equals the amount eliminated. When a drug is administered at regular intervals, the time needed to reach the steady state level depends only on the drug half-life, like it takes five half-lives to reach 97% of the steady state level. The exact size of each dose or interval between doses does not matter. Choices C, D, and E cannot be the answer because loading doses are larger than maintenance doses and can be used during treatment initiation to shorten the time needed to reach target steady state plasma concentrations. They are most useful when an immediate therapeutic response is needed like life-saving antibiotics or when using drugs with large volumes of distribution such as amiodarone. Total body weight influences the volume of distribution and is often used when calculating the loading dose. However, these parameters are not needed when calculating the maintenance dose because the amount of drug loss per unit of time depends only on the steady state plasma concentration and drug clearance. If you already knew the answer or at least now know the correct one, click the like button. Choices C, D, and E cannot be the answer because loading doses are larger than maintenance doses and can be used during treatment initiation to shorten the time needed to reach target steady state plasma concentrations. They are most useful when an immediate therapeutic response is needed like life-saving antibiotics or when using drugs with large volumes of distribution such as amiodarone. Total body weight influences the volume of distribution and is often used when calculating the loading dose. However, these parameters are not needed when calculating the maintenance dose because the amount of drug lost per unit of time depends only on the steady state plasma concentration and drug clearance. If you already knew the answer or at least now know the correct one, click the like button.